हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो केमिकल एनर्जेटिक्स पार्ट थर्ड यू लर्न अबाउट हीट और एंथलपी ऑफ न्यूट्रलाइजेशन एंड प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन एंथलपीज ऑफ न्यूट्रलाइजेशन दैट इज कैलकुलेशन ऑफ एंथलपीज ऑफ न्यूट्रलाइजेशन द हीट ऑफ न्यूट्रलाइजेशन ऑफ एन एसिड बाय बेस इज डिफाइंड एज the heat change when 1 gram equivalent of the acid is neutralized by 1 gram equivalent of a base the reaction being carried out in a dilute aqueous solution that is the heat change when 1 gram equivalent of the acid is neutralized by 1 gram equivalent of a base is known as heat of neutralization similarly the heat of neutralization of a base by an acid is defined as the heat change when 1 gram of equivalent of the base is neutralized by 1 gram equivalent of an acid when 1 gram equivalent of hcl is neutralized by naoh or 1 gram equivalent of NaOH is neutralized by HCl in a dilute and aqueous solution 57.1 kJ of heat is produced NaOH when reacts with HCl that is neutralization takes place it gives NaCl plus H2O delta H that is heat liberated is minus 57.1 kJ delta h is negative means heat can be liberated here and hence heat of neutralization of hcl with naoh or neutralization of naoh with hcl is 57.1 kJ per mole the heat of neutralization of any strong acid with any strong base or vice versa is always the same that is 57.1 kJ because the strong acid strong bases and the salts formed by them all are completely ionized in dilute aqueous solution thus the reaction between a strong acid and strong base may be written as NaOH can be dissociated we can write Na plus plus OH minus ion Plus H plus plus Cl minus ion that gives Na plus plus Cl minus ion plus water. Delta H is minus fifty seven point one kilojoule. If we cancel the common ions, then we get H plus aqueous plus OH minus aqueous that gives H two O, and heat liberated is fifty seven point one kilojoule. thus the neutralization may be regarded as a reaction of the h plus ions given by the acid with oh minus ions given by the base if a acid or base is neutral the heat of neutralization is usually less than 57.1 kJ if we consider the neutralization of weak acid like acetic acid by a strong base like naoh the acetic acid that ionizes to a small extent whereas the naoh should be completely ionized as the dissociation constant of acetic acid is less it is a weaker acid acetic acid dissociates it gives acetate ion plus h plus ion while the naoh should be completely dissociated it gives na plus plus oh minus ion and when the h plus ions given by acid they combine with oh minus ion that is neutralization takes place the equilibrium of this reaction should be shifted towards the right hand side that is dissociation takes place means more acetic acid should be dissociates and a part of heat produced during the combination of h plus ion or oh minus ion is used to complete dissociation of acetic acid means heat liberated that should be used for dissociation of acetic acid 
and hence the net heat evolved in this reaction which is less than 57.1 kilojoule means heat liberated while the neutralization of H plus ion by OH minus ion can be utilized for dissociation of acetic acid and that's why generally if acid or base one acid or base is weaker when undergoes neutralization the heat liberated that is less than 57.1 kilojoule then we can see a problems on enthalpy of neutralization or heat of neutralization first one is determine the amount of heat released when 0.75 mole of nitric acid is neutralized by 0.75 mole of sodium hydroxide we can write the reaction both are strong acids and bases that's why the nitric acid 0.75 moles should be completely neutralized by 0.75 moles of NaOH and it goes salt that is sodium nitrate plus water molecule and as one mole of strong acid is neutralized by one mole of a strong base heat release is 57.1 kilojoule and therefore we can write 0.75 mole of nitric acid is neutralized by 0.75 mole of NaOH and hence heat release is equal to 57.1 into 0.75 that is heat release is equal to 42.8 kilojoule next determine the amount of heat released when 0.75 mole of hydrochloric acid is neutralized by 0.5 mole of potassium hydroxide you can write a reaction now here 0.75 moles of hydrochloric acid can be used while the koh is 0.5 moles and that's why the acid hydrochloric acid is not completely neutralized that is 0.25 moles of acid remains unneutralized out of 0.75 moles 0.5 moles will react with 0.5 mole of koh and 0.25 mole of hcl will left unreacted we have the relation that is one mole of strong acid hcl is neutralized by one mole of strong base koh heat release is 57.1 kilojoule and therefore when 0.5 mole of HCl is neutralized by 0.5 mole of KOH because in this reaction only 0.5 moles of acid can be neutralized and therefore heat released is equal to 57.1 into 0.5 heat released that comes 28.5 kilojoule next is determine the amount of heat released when 900 ml of 0.5 molar hydrochloric acid solution is mixed with 500 ml of 0.4 molar sodium hydroxide solution the specific heat of water is 4.18 kilojoule also calculate rise in temperature solution 1000 ml of 1 molar hcl corresponds to 1 mole of hcl therefore 900 ml of 0.5 molar hcl that corresponds to 0.45 mole of hcl similarly 1000 ml of 1 molar NaOH corresponds to 1 mole of NaOH therefore 500 ml of 0.4 molar NaOH corresponds to 0.2 mole of NaOH here 0.45 mole of HCl is present out of this 0.45 mole of HCl 0.2 mole will react with 0.2 mole of NaOH and 0.25 mole of HCl we left unreacted and we have relation one mole of hcl is neutralized by one mole of naoh heat release rate is 57.1 kilojoule and therefore when 0.2 mole of hcl is neutralized by 0.2 mole of naoh heat evolved or heat release rate is 57.1 into 0.2 that is 11.4 kilojoule to calculate the rise in temperature we can use the relation mass into specific heat into rise in temperature that is equal to heat evolved heat evolved is 11.4 kilojoule for this given reaction mass of volume or mass of mixture is 900 plus 500 that is 1400 g assuming the densities of solution as unity and specific heat of water is 4.18 kilojoule per kelvin per gram 
therefore rise in temperature is equal to heat evolved upon mass into specific heat if we substitute the value then we get rise in temperature is 1.95 degree celsius means when 900 ml of 0.5 molar hydrochloric acid solution is mixed with 500 ml of 0.4 molar sodium hydroxide solution rise in temperature is 1.95 degree celsius and heat you all is 11.4 kilo joule next is determine the amount of heat released when a 200 ml of 0.2 molar sulfuric acid is mixed with 300 ml of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide solution calculate the rise in temperature also now here 1000 ml of 1 molar sulfuric acid that corresponds to 1 mole of sulfuric acid but one molecule of sulfuric acid as being dibasic acid gives the two protons therefore we can write 200 ml of 0.2 molar sulfuric acid that gives or corresponds to 0.08 moles of h plus ion similarly 1000 ml of 1 molar nh that corresponds to 1 mole of nh therefore 300 ml of 0.1 molar nh that corresponds to 0.03 moles of oh minus ion now out of 0.08 mole of h plus ion 0.03 moles of h plus ion or acid will be react with 0.03 moles of oh minus ion and 0.05 moles of h plus ion will be left unreacted and as here in this case the acid is a dibasic we can consider the neutralization of h plus ion by neutral oh minus ion and heat evolved that comes 57.1 into 0.03 that is equal to 1.7 kilo joule and to find rise in temperature mass of mixture is a 200 plus 300 that is equal to 500 gram assuming densities of solution as unity therefore specific heat of water given 4.18 and therefore rise in temperature is equal to heat evolved upon mass into specific heat rise in temperature delta t is equal to 0.8 degrees celsius means when 200 ml of 0.2 molar sulfuric acid is mixed with 300 ml of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide solution heat evolved is 1.7 kilo joule and rise in temperature of solution is 0.8 degree celsius similarly next calculate the amount of heat released when 600 cm cube of 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid solution is mixed with 200 cm cube of 0.2 molar sodium hydroxide solution the specific heat of water is 4.18 kilo joule also calculate rise in temperature similarly here 1000 cm cube of 1 molar hcl corresponds to 1 mole of hcl and therefore 600 cm cube of 0.1 molar hcl that corresponds to 0.06 moles of hcl similarly 1000 cm cube of 1 molar nh is equal to 1 mole of nh and therefore 200 cm cube of 0.4 molar nh that is equal to 200 into 0.2 upon 1000 that is 0.04 moles of nh that is 0.6 moles of hcl mixed with 0.04 moles of nh and out of these 0.06 moles of hcl 0.04 moles of hcl will be neutralized by 0.04 mole of nh and 0.02 moles of hcl will remain unreacted we have relation 1 mole of hcl is neutralized by 1 mole of nh heat release rate is 57.1 kilo joule and therefore when 0.04 mole of hcl is neutralized by 
0.04 mole of NaOH hit you all or hit release rate is 57.1 into 0.04 that is a 2.284 and to calculate the rise in temperature we can use the relation hit you all that is 2.284 kilojoule mass of mixture is 600 plus 200 that is 800 gram assuming densities of solution as unity and specific heat of water is 4.18 kilojoule and therefore rise in temperature that comes 0 0.68 degrees Celsius. in this video you learn about heat or enthalpy of neutralization and problems on enthalpies of neutralization thank you